have what I think is the best inshore combo. Arguably, this combo does everything that you would need as far as popping corks, swim baits, twitch baits, and top water. What's up guys and girls, it is your boy the Hunter Fisher. Welcome back to the Cast King channel. Today guys and girls, I have something a little bit special for you today. I've been out here inshore fishing so often lately guys, I've been having so much good luck. But recently, I had some great luck today on top water. So top water is kind of a popular thing down south, south Florida, a lot of different areas for big trout, big red, big snook, a lot of your different fish. I think that there's one combo that Cast King can, they actually sell both the components you need and all the components you really need to have what I think is the best inshore combo. Arguably, this combo does everything that you would need as far as popping corks, swim baits, twitch baits, and top water. Arguably, probably all you need for a lot of your saltwater fishing with artificials. The combo that I'm gonna be talking about is actually this right here. If you guys have not seen the Casking inshore estuary rods before, they're awesome. They're great guys. They have the AFT American Force or American Tackle Force uh, guides on them, where it essentially allows your line to come out more accurately with a lot more control. So you can better control your cast, be accurate, and also get further cast. That is the Cast, Cor cast King Inshore Estuary Rod, but I've actually already talked about this rod in the past. I've already talked about this rod on the channel a lot earlier than this a few months ago. I'm literally out at the same exact spot. This rod is perfect. I love the guides on it. The guides also feel awesome. They have not had any problems i've used this rod a ton and i've got really good confidence and i love how long the freaking grip is guys this grip is one of the longest grips i've ever seen on a casting rod and that's perfect for whenever you're fighting bigger fish like possibly a snook i've never caught a snook i've never caught a snook where i am i'm in the panhandle typically get snook like that here so it's pretty cool just to even see snook like that. It's raining now, guys, so bear with me for a little bit. Oh, a fish just blew up right there. As far as the rod goes, I think it's great for your fighting your larger fish or even working at popping cork. Honestly, that's like the two things I would always use it for is popping cork and a top water. That's my main thing with this rod. And the reel that I'm using, guys, is specifically the Cast King Crixus Armor X. The reason why I chose this reel is because one, it has a really good line capacity number. Love that. It's not necessarily 200 size reel, but for 150 size reel, it's awesome. What I also love about it is its overall drag power. It has up to like 17.6 pounds of drag, which is insane for a reel of this caliber in this value that you don't really find something like this too often. So I highly recommend the reel and the braking system alone on it's also great. And they also take this grip material right here. So when you're out in the salt water and maybe you're getting trout slime on you, you might get some redfish scales on you. You might have things on you that are making you lose grip. So those grips matter a lot. Your casting gear. So typically I would recommend this gear the most of all because it is optimized to suit the angler's needs at the most affordable price. That's what I love about casking. That's why I'm always going to use casking products. I, I think it's a great price. I think it's a great product. My camera's getting wet. Oh no. Sorry guys, I had, to wa I had to wipe off the camera lens real quick because it's raining, it's a little bit drizzly out here. But also guys, what I'm rocking on that reel is 20 pound monofilament backing. So backing is the stuff you put on the reel before you actually put the braid on. The reason why is this braid's diameter is so thin that it's gonna eat in itself whenever the drag gets pulled. So then if it gets pulled down to the very bottom of the spool and you don't have a backing, it's going to keep slipping. And the reason why you don't tie it straight to the spool where the holes are in the reel is because that can actually bend and warp the reel and it'll also slice into your braid. So I highly do not suggest doing that whenever you're spooling up this reel. What I also suggest is taking a backing, put on about 10 yards of backing. And my buddy just hooked up with top water. Let's go, let's go, let's go see my buddy. He's hooked up with top water over here. The braid I'm using is Cast King Cast Pro 20 pound braid in coastal blue. But 20 pound braid is good enough for me. I use 20 pound leader and that's pretty good. But my buddy's hooked up over here with top water. He's not using the combo I'm using, but he's got a top water trout right here. And he, it's just another example of why you use a long rod. Notice he's sticking it underneath his pit and actually having the leverage. But I'm done talking for the combo for a little bit. I'm gonna show you guys some fish clips after I show you, show him catching this fish real quick. Not a bad trout. Slot. Heck yeah. On that top water, like I was saying guys, we've had a beautiful top water day out here, especially when this rain kicks up. But now that this rain's kicked up, I think I'm gonna go use some top water. I like that. Today's the day. <laughs> Today is the day to use top water. Perfect conditions. But I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna go get the catching fish. I'll see you guys then. They dropped a whole new line of smaller sizes just because for redfish and trout. Obviously, it's not small enough though. Oh, I lied. It's a gator. No! Dang it! 
At least I know I can get on them though, dude. That was a freaking massive freaking trout. Oh. Wow. Dude, I had a good hook set in everything. Dang, bro. I was recording though. It's okay. That's just not the same fish, dude. It's got the one tooth. One tooth. <laughs> I don't know though. It might be. He might have bit a shrimp and then bit a top water like a dummy. Oh. Water? Yep. Dude. Yes. I'm hauling him in. Doubles, dude. Doubles. He's hooked for sure. Same size, dude. Yeah, cooking cutters, man. <laughs> Wait, I gotta take a picture with this. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Get a little double going. Yeah, heck yeah. Stay, stay, stop. Good boy. <laughs> Guys, that's on that new Beast Walker. Wow, it's raining, bro. So sick. Turned on, that's a double up. Yeah. Turn the five into a dime, you know? Okay. Knowing how to learn, like learning a new language is definitely kind of fire. Yeah. I'm glad I took Chinese. Yeah, I mean, genuine understanding is pretty cool. Okay. Yes, yes, dude. Come in, Because I'm burning him in. Oh, dude, look at all the bait right here. Oh, my God. Oh, he's got one hook in him. Oh, no, he's got two hooks in him. There you go, guys. Another uh, trout. Oh, I have plenty of filming light. I didn't even think I had that much filming light, to be honest with you. Buddy. He's not bad at all. Oh, he's drumming. You're right. What the heck? Oh, maybe that's not him. Maybe that's a gator. Over there. That's it for the video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed those top water eats, those top water catches. Uh, mainly what our technique was to catch those fish. Sorry about the crickets in my reptile tank. The lizard hasn't ate them all yet. Uh, for as far as tips goes with those top water eats, especially what we were doing, we were using a four inch size spook style bait that has a walk the dog style action. And what we were doing is we were working it incredibly slow. Like, I mean, it was like pop, pop, and then just wait, like 10 seconds wait. And those trout were literally taking five, six, seven second waits after a pop, and then they would freaking hammer that thing hard too. Overall, it was actually a great time out there. I spent a lot of good time, had a lot of fun out there. My buddy kept a few trout, we enjoyed it. But overall, the combo performed exactly how I expected it, at least as far as the quality circumstances go, because one thing I'm learning with a lot of the inshore estuary rods, I'm really impressed with how accurate their actions are. That action was perfect for what I needed to do with that top water bite. Top waters have treble hooks, so with the uh, casting and estuary inshore rod on the 7.6 medium heavy casting model, there is a, a moderate to fast action, so it makes it ideal for things with treble hooks because treble hooks need to have a little give in them. So say if you're using something like leader, you're already giving a lot of stretch to the line anyways, even if you're using a fast action rod, but with the leader, you're actually kind of allowing it to essentially make up for it in the long run of what action you may lose or what action you might not have. So overall, what the action of the rod was, it was fast enough to get good twitches out of the bait, but also slow enough to where I don't rip the hooks out of a trout's mouth because trout are, uh, how do you say it, well known to be paper mouth fish. It doesn't matter what kind of trout it is, sea trout, uh, rainbow trout, speckled trout, whatever you want to call it. Uh, speckled trout's a little, I just said the same thing twice, oh my gosh. These fish are known to take hooks right out of their mouths, so it was really cool to have a good experience, especially with that combo. And I love the freaking long rod grip. I, there's no rod in the industry that has a lot of grip that long, and it's very convenient if you're fighting larger fish, which, to be honest, I was with those trout. They were larger than average trout, which was awesome. I don't get into big trout too often, just because they aren't very 
Uh, they aren't very numerous anymore as they used to be back in the day. That's why you release over 20 inches, stuff like that. The point is the rod itself is awesome. I want to use it more often for other things like popping corks, uh, paddle tails, jerk shads, things like that. But I look forward to getting more time in with the combo. If you guys like this content in the casting channel, let us know down in the comments down below. But besides that, I think I'm done talk for today's video, guys. I want to say thank you again to casting for having me on the channel. It's always a pleasure. I'll see you guys next time on the Cascine channel. This is 100 Fisher, signing out.